Hello, hello chat. Welcome to Dredge. I know you've all seen it before on the channel when we took a look at a early access demo of Dredge a little while before, but this game out on March 30th seems to be and is a very creepy uh, open world, open sea, fishing uh, sim with a lot of creepiness and weirdness to it, to where we can find things in the ocean floor and haul them up and uh, craft out of them and more. So welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Thanks for all the likes. Just getting things ready in the background as we finish our update. Cool. All good to go. Welcome back. Good to see the number one community in chat right now. If you're watching live, throw a one in the chat. And as always, remember for those gifted memberships, which chat is just dropping like crazy all the time, uh, active members of the chat are chosen by YouTube to receive those memberships. So make sure that you... Uh, uh, put a one in the chat after you subscribe. Subscribers get free giveaways in our Discord, just like one that we did right at the start of the stream. And, uh, of course, you also get notifications for when we go live. And you get a lot of extra perks, too, for becoming a member, such as our awesome emotes. To which, yeah, we'll have to put some... We got a lot of new emotes unlocked. So many new emotes. I don't even know what to do with them. So we're going to work with Art to try to get some new ones. And uh, we unlocked so many spaces over my birthday. We threw some random ones in to hold the spot. And we'll be changing those out soon. So anyway, I'm going to be playing with a controller today. Game out on March 30th. Uh, we played it before. It's very cool, very fun. There might even be a free demo for this one on Steam, although I didn't get a chance to look. But anyway, welcome aboard, and let's begin. Uh, apparently, I have to hold F. F in the chat. Actually, wait, maybe if I hit the controller. Ah, cool. I'll be playing with the controller because it's a little more comfortable, but mouse and keyboard is totally, totally possible. Ah, yes, dredge. So this game kind of has a creepy, weird atmosphere to it. I'd say if you're familiar with games like uh, maybe um, Darkest Dungeon, it kind of has that vibe a little bit, but it's not necessarily an undead world. But there'll be a story that will unfold for us. We're basically a fisherman who is um, arriving uh, in this strange new place. Uh, the community's requesting more fishermen to move and live there in order to fish to feed the people of the islands, and so we're on our way. So... Yeah, this game is uh, Team 17. Team 17 publishes a hell of a lot of good games. They make like Hell Let Loose, Dredge, and a ton of other games on the channel. Tiny Build's also another great uh, publisher. Slytherin, also another fantastic publisher. And Devolver Digital, also. Uh, Devolver, for example, are the people who made um, the uh, fantastic Terra Nil that came out uh, today as well. So, anyway, good to see you all here. And thanks for all the ones in the chat. You guys are awesome. So, let's begin our first playthrough of Dredge. Full game out uh, tomorrow, but we get a little early look, so thanks to the devs for sending over a key. Let's go. Dredging the depths. I think this tour is just supposed to be three hours, so we'll be back soon. Job listing. Angler wanted. Ooh. 
That looked like a lot of fog. Oh boy. A shipwreck. Note to self, sue the lighthouse. <laughs> the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying in the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Ah, welcome great to Great Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Now, ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of here. Uh, get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings. Bearings in the light. Hmm. Bear. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Oh, wow. Cool. It's a fishing simulator, but with a twist, it seems. Okay. Why to undock? Oh, we got cargo, we got cabin, we got pursuits. Uh, map, messages, and en encyclopedia. A fresh start. Catch fish for the day. Met the mayor of Greater Morrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Warned me to be back by nightfall, though. Said something about fog? A bit dramatic. Tasks. The mayor asked me to catch as many fish as I can, then head back to Great Morrow. Or Greater Morrow. Minnow. Great Minnow. The Minnow? That's a ship. Ooh. So we got four islands to explore on the outside, and the Morrow's in the middle, so there's lots of biomes to go to. Interesting. Ooh, there's a lot of fish out there. Coastal, shallow, oceanic, abyssal, hadal, volcanic, and mangrove. So these are all the other locations, and these are the types of fish on the left. Okay. Wow, 64 pages of fish? This game has a lot of fish, and crabs and other things, too. That's interesting. Uh, we got a boat motor. A peculiar engine. Install time, two hours, operational, 14 nautical miles. Or knots. Basic fishing pole, 35% fishing speed. All right, let's go. Wait, how do I undock? Oh, I like that. Beep, beep. Disturbed water, stock high, coastal. A blue mackerel? Holy mackerel, look at that. Practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. Oh, it's also a little bit of inventory management, too. Stock medium. Mm. Let's do one more. Stock low, okay. So we probably shouldn't overfish too much. Oh, there's a little buoy there. What's up, Ginger? You don't have the right equipment for this spot, okay? So we can fish in coastal waters. A cod. Oh, so we can do all sorts of different ways to manage the fish. That's cool. I like how they jiggle a little bit when they, we move them around. 
Bing bing. Oh, a trophy fish. Nice. Uh, let's not overfish. Yeah, fish Tetris, that's right. Cool, another one. Another one. Oh, it's raining. What's that? Uh, a message. The 20th of August, 1927. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Uh, today we're sailing around the islands and inlets of the back of greater... Tomorrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. Uh, we renamed the boat last night to Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but kept the keychain Ocean's Riches. It was a good name. I think he was prepared... I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I could see the basket half-hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Is that blood on the sides of the note? Uh-oh. Hmm. Wait, that was one of twelve. Okay. Trying to get that message to disappear. Okay. New member, welcome. Amanda, thank you very much for almost getting close to 30 months of support. Thank you very much for the big O membership. Thank you. Let's do all oh, that one's depleted. I guess it'll move around and come back. I'll try not to deplete them though. New member, welcome. Demon King, welcome aboard. Another big catch. Thank you very much for your support. Wait, I don't want to. I don't want to overfish that either. Um, so the lighthouse is where we're supposed to go. Uh, I feel like something. Maybe there's no consequence for overfishing, but I'll just err on the side of caution. Ooh. Oh, it's a low stock of squid. Mm. A what now? An arrowhead squid. Uh, let's not deplete it. Yeah, I would say this is a good game for the uh, Steam Deck for sure. Uh-oh. Let's head home. He told us to go back before dark. Uh, select your lights by left button and then X. Toggle them with X. Oh, I see. That way. I see. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. So we can also toot the horn. Vang Okay, that was 
That was interesting. I don't want to toot my own horn, but that's a pretty good song. I'm sure the town loves me. Okay. You step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish at the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Or where do I sell the fish? Hmm. Our local fishmonger will appease and appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay. You enter a squid... A squid. A squalid. Sorry, I had squid on the brain. I got squid brain. Squidward? Squid brain. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. <sighs> ah, you're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Well, what happened to the other one? He... It, didn't, it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on the islands might pay you different, but while you're still uh, got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work paying off that first. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. So, let's see what you've got. Ah, so it tells us how much they're worth. I guess we may as well sell all. The trophies were twenty-one forty-five. Hmm. Not bad. A little bit more. All right. Uh, is there a sell all button? Yeah. Just hold for one hundred and twenty-two thirty-seven. Boom. Thank you. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? A research part. Curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Hmm. Put that in storage for now. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she was uh, might be able to make some modifications to your ship you should pay her a visit it's a boat it's a fishing boat not a fishing ship these people live on the sea and they don't know the difference on play jeez yeah it's the squalid S squid shack run by a Shaquille O'Neal otherwise known as Shaq uh, oh we only have thirty one dollars and sixty four cents remaining on our ship loan <laughs> Wow, all right. Well, that was a pretty good fishing trip. We only own like 30 bucks on it. Nice. Okay. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. ah, you must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes time to install. Also, if you take any damage on the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Hmm. <sighs> Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. We have 104 bucks. A simple skimmer that allows us to catch fish in the shallows. Hmm. All right, let's buy that.
and install will take two hours. Cool. Uh, return to town. So the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So I guess each grid square that it takes up to install takes an hour. So if we buy an engine that's like a 2x2, two two, then it'll take four hours. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. I see. Uh, are we supposed to go back to... I, I guess we can sleep till morning. I don't know what else there is to do. Wait, research. Ooh, look at all that research. So each of those thingies that the mayor gave us could go towards this? Oh yeah, hydraulic rod. Mechanically assisted reels allows for catching of significantly larger species. Ooh. Fishing speed plus 50. Flexible fishing pole. Coast oh, here's what it affects. Oceanic, coastal, shallow, mangrove, coastal. Oh, there's also engine research, too. Improved uh, outboard engine. And more things to discover. Hmm. We only have those two at the moment, but it looks like we can also research pots and nets. Hmm. Ahoy! I've been looking forward to this game. Hope you've been well and enjoy. Well, thank you very much, Subconscious, for being here. Welcome. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should save them for now. Actually, this one would probably be best. We have seen coastal and shallow so far. And also... Some that were, like, deeper than that. Oh, that one affects all of them. Wait, this one will take... Wait a minute. That shows two gears below it. Hmm. So it's going to take two research parts to research that, but... Oh, maybe researching takes time. Maybe a better engine would be better, though. X oh, it's, it's one. Let's do that. Efficient propeller design makes the reasonable engine for those on a budget. Mm. If I research this, we still have to have her install it, right? Now available in stores. Oh, we have to do the research, then we have to buy it from the people we apparently sold the patent to? That's a scam. Repair mode active. Oh, uh. Exit repair mode. Ah, oh, there we go. A rusty outboard engine, so we could buy two of those. Oh, the engines might stack. So for 400, we could buy two improved outboard engines and do 30 knots rather than 20 if we got two of these. But we could also sell the old engine. How much would that be worth? Well, we could uninstall it. We could probably sell it, but all right, we need more money for that. So our boat speed is 24 knots. It says that it does 14. So there must be a base speed of the boat of 10. So if we sell that engine, we can only do 10. So that means we might be able to do 40 knots then. If we get the improved engines times 2. Cool. Oh, we can also get lights improved too. Look at that. We have fishing speed, lights, boat speed. Then we can also catch in coastal and shallow waters. Okay. That's cool. It tells you what your boat's uh, made for. And there's also different lenses. That'll keep us more sane at night. Am I just trolling? Uh, we'll be trolling soon. That's for sure. Alright, we'll have to come back tomorrow and rest until dawn and then Let's see if we can go out fishing again. Apparently the mayor wants to chat with us. What can I do for you? Oh, we can go chat with him. I'd like to pay off debt. We don't really have any money. Uh, I'd like to ask about the wider region. Certainly. Is there somewhere particular you wish to know more about? Mm, not yet. What happened to the last fisherman? Oh, the last fisherman? Uh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night and come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day. 
He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. Now he was no good. One evening he left and never came back so long. He shan't be missed the, uh, by us. Now what else can I do for you? I guess we'll ask more about stuff later. We don't really have money for the debt, but let's see. How much would you like to repay? Eh, I'll come back tonight and pay that off. We'll do a couple of days and pay off our debt. That way we don't have to worry about him. Then we'll get some upgrades too. Well, let's go fishing! I don't know if we should flish, uh, flish, fish to depletion. But it looks like if we don't do that, then they'll be restocked the next day a little bit. Let's do some flishing. A floating buoy. It serves to mark a safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Dim light has, uh, provides brief respite in the gloom of the night. Flounder. Hmm. That's cool. It looks like we can throw some things overboard, too. Oh, are those sharks? What was that? So I guess the first thing is a bigger engine because then we can go further and faster during the day. Nice little house over there. Eh, I guess we'll fish. I don't think we've been over here before. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. What does it mean when it says dredge? I think that means we can salvage for parts. Or something. We're not looking for fish at that point. We're looking for, like... That seems to refer to, like, something to upgrade the boat, maybe? For the shipwright to repair boats or something? I guess we'll see. Ooh. A gray eel. Another one. Now let's start heading back. Man, uh, it, it, it's quick. The days are quick in this game. Another relaxing game? Well, I don't know about that. I'm actually kind of terrified at night in this game. Ooh. 
Ooh, our light can go out. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. That's a big nope for me. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal price. Tell me about it. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them to me when you have them. Okay. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water. Fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to uh, sort that out for you. Okay. Hmm. Do you have any fish for the order? Well, yes, we have a gray eel. Just leave it here when you're... I have it. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Okay. Oh, we. Oh, wait. We have these things. Ah, cool. Oh, we got a head start on that. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Thanks, Brad. Forty-one bucks. Thank you. Good. Good. They should be pleased with these. Good. Good. Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Hmm. Well, we had a squid last time. Don't see many people fishing squids these days. They only feed at night. And you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Have you got any fish for the order? Uh, mm -hmm. I think I have the black grouper. Oh, we need two squids. Okay. So we got to stay out late. Wonderful. Done for that. All right, come back when you have everything. Now to regular business. Okay, now we can sell everything remaining for 46 bucks. Which gives us a whopping 109.21. Let's pay off our debt with the mare. Twenty-four, thirty, uh, seventy-three. Fantastic. Now, what else can I do for you? Mm, that's all. Hmm. Raptor played this game a couple years ago. Um, I think it was last year I played the demo. And there were certainly games like this that we played before. Other fishing simulators that make this one really familiar with, like... Uh, I think it was called Fishing Barren Sea. But this game's going for a little creepier atmospheric thing. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I mean, just think of a fishing sim meets... Um, well, who doesn't like a good fishing like mini game within their game? Chat, what are some... What what game can you think of that has like the best fishing mini game? Like, what was your favorite fishing mini game? Like, Stardew has a good one. I think I like the one in uh, Sea of Thieves a little bit now that I understand it. I thought it was kind of annoyed, but or annoying when I first played it. And then I was like, oh, wait, I get it now. You auto wishlisted this game? Oh, good. Enjoy. Red Dead Redemption 2. Diablo Immortal has fishing. Does Do Diablo 4 have fishing? I'll go play that. Imagine that. Lens Island has a fishing mini game. I think that one could be a little better, but I like how it's different. This one seems to just be all about timing, but I like how they made it. The mini game is different per fish. Like, it looks like each fish has a little different game. Maybe it's based on their type of fish, like oceanic or shallow or whatever. All the Legend of Zeldas? Oh, yeah. Red Dead 2 has the best fishing mini game. Oh, really? Now, we're going to play that because we got over 4,000 members. So, for all of you who smashed that join button, uh, keep them coming because every time that we get another 250 new members, we're going to unlock a game that I haven't played before that's been heavily requested on the channel. So we're already going to do Red Dead Redemption and we're all already going to do um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Also, Chad, I think tomorrow, for like the fifth time now, Last of Us comes out again. So we might play that. Uh, I just got an email from uh, Neil Druckmann himself. And he said, uh, what does it say? Hey, Daddy, sorry I, I'm late with the key. Love you. Okay, thank you, Neil. All right, let's take some rest. And uh, let's go fishing. Uh, the mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Oh, it must be because I repaid the debt. Fantastic news. Thanks to your efforts, Greater Mauro is growing. The town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, 
have granted a uh, consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. Ah, the old dry dock is operational again. Oh, good, we can upgrade the ship now even more. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk uh, to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Well, I kind of shipwrecked myself, but let's go check with the uh, fishmonger then. Anything new? No? Ooh. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Oh, were you working the, the lighthouse that night, ma'am? Yeah, I got, I got a lawsuit I need to file against you. Why are you here? I, I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. No, ma'am, I actually caught like 20 fish so far. I'm doing pretty good, actually. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. Dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hand mater uh, hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Ah, so that's where dredging comes into play. So that's the name of the game, is to be able to dredge to grab these parts so we can upgrade the boat. I'm sure. Huh. How do I get these materials? Well, there's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Oh, that's cool. So you don't have to keep things in your inventory till the upgrade. You can just drop them off and she'll hold on to them. Nice. Plus two rod spaces, plus four nets, engine spaces, light space, new hull. I'm assuming the new hull means we get more cargo space. Yeah. So, like, new hull will add five new spaces and an additional one more impact. Okay. Impact against what? Hi, Mr. Mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Okay, I can do that. A small package. The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped mess of shapes. Okay, I can do that. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Oh. It's probably a sandwich. The dock worker will pay upon delivery. Be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Hmm. Well, this is something called a pursuit now. So we still need to get two arrow squids, so we gotta stay till night and deliver the package. The package feels dense and damp. Something's seeping through the paper. Curious, but I won't open it. Hmm. So we gotta go to the east. So that is where the X is on the map. You think the fish is, uh, fish is in the, the package? Maybe. Could be right about that. I'm guessing sandwich, but we'll see. Hmm. There's hunting and crafting in Red Dead 2 as well. Yeah. Well, you know, the good thing about me not playing it on day one is that, or many of these games, is that, you know, day one games are usually pretty solid, especially like, you know, when Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, it'll be great, but I'm sure over time they'll add a ton of stuff to GTA 6 that'll just be like, whoa, why, why wasn't this here on day one? So it's the same with 2. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of patches and things that came out that made the campaign better. All right, let's keep on trucking, brother. Do we have to track a quest? No. So it's just marked. All right, let's head east. Let's go. I will right, we'll stop to fish on the way. So maybe there's not a consequence for overfishing, but it looks like the fish are back in their usual spots. Another good old mackerel. Oh. Uh. Maybe we'll deplete. I don't know. Also, with the other island we're going to, I wonder if they have a fishmonger. Maybe I can sell there, too. Hmm. 
Hmm. Dude, look at the tree. You know what this reminds me of? All the trees and stuff remind me of Firewatch a little bit. I mean, I think these look a little... How do I look at the map? I think they look a little different, but... Also in this game, it looks like time doesn't pass until we move or try to catch fish. So only when we move... Oh, there's the compass up there. Okay. I was looking for it, like, at the bottom of the screen. I don't think we can catch those fish yet, or these. Oh, we can. These are coastal fish? room for squid. Let's do that. We'll uh, save some room for the way home. Oh, there's a message in a bottle there. Oh, there's the little town. first. Uh, the next day. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Morrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It didn't penetrate the hull, but jostled us around a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see that uh, what they were, which is of some, of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some of the notes from the boat rena renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that his uh, he performed steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Hmm. Ooh, a manta ray. I don't really have a room, so we'll just kind of go to town. I wonder if we could stay here. <laughs> hmm. What a delivery. Let's see here. Oh, that's the dock worker. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. The smells foul. You obviously took your sweet time getting here with this. He won't let me pay for a delivery in this state, but maybe I can give you this. I was given this old book from a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sen sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Oh, a traitor. Ooh. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. Shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... No. No, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I have a fish, sir. Are you interested in that? That is a no. How about an engine? I guess I do not. Not at the moment. Hmm. So we gotta go back to the west now to go home. Well, we wanna be out at night for the squid. see if we can find him. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. We need two. Let's go for three. Four. 
Yeah, I'm going home. I don't want to spend any more time in the water. If he's lonely, he should join the chat. That's true. I hope that guy also remembers to smack the like button to support future streams and more content. And, of course, becomes a member today. That would be cool. Yo, Gillifisk. Oh, what was that coming? What was that that just tried to attack me out of the water? Did you see that? Something jumped out of the water. That did not look good, whatever that was. Okay, then. Hmm. Well, let's go to our good friend, the fishmonger, then. Hmm. Have we got that fish order? I do. Leave it when you're ready. All right, cool. Well, we got two of those, Brad. I like how they jiggle. Wang, 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 wang. Makes me want to play that other... There was kind of a more cozy fishing game, too, that we played recently. Where you could own your own fishing shop. It was like a year ago, but it was a good one. <sighs> I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. Hmm. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could fix it at the shipwright. Oh, okay. Lasts for two days. I'll take that. Ability unlocked. Crab pot. Hell yeah, brother. We're going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned crabbing. A crab crab fest, like a red lobster. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two and check on it. Oh, we can drop them anywhere. Okay. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Hope the seagulls don't... Get to your catch, those blasted pests. Oh, we can buy one for a hundred. Okay. Well, let's sell what we got first. We can sell for 103.32. So, let's do it. This allows us to buy two crab pots. Uh, let's do it. get that repaired how much to repair remember you don't have to have all the materials at once you can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock well thank you ma'am do you do repairs though oh shipwright I see okay. same lady different job repair all for 750 so that repairs the uh, crab pot I think cool Yep. All right. We have 61 bucks. Oh, apparently I have a fish in storage. Oh, wait. Uh, hey, I found this book for you. The fishmonger reaches under his counter and hands you a damp, bat battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Thank you. schools of fish are the same. Some sp contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell by just looking from the surface. Oh. Hmm. 
Where's the book he gave me? Oh, this is it here. Uh, sustain. Oh, I see. Here they are. Rods, reels, and rigs. I haven't read this yet. Sustainable fishing. I haven't read this yet. Hmm. So the other guy gave us a book, too. The one at the dock. So the fishmonger and the guy at the dock gave us books. I think sustainable fishing might be better, because then we can get more fish without even having to go that far. More money with less travel. That seems profitable. Uh, selected as an active book, pastime to read. Oh, okay, so every time we sleep, we'll get like a little bonus. Or as we drive, or whatever. Alright. I'll wake up in the morning and go crab fishing. Joe's Crab Shack. Hmm. All right. Time to go out to see. You love the poly art styles like this? Yeah, me too. Like, it doesn't have to look anything... It doesn't have to look like uh, Skyrim in 8K in order to be beautiful. Like, this is gorgeous. Trees blowing in the background, and you can kind of see leaves going. It's autumn. It gives some vibes. It gives some vibes, that's for sure. I don't want to sleep on it on dock. Oh, select the crab pot ability and deploy with X. Oh... They catch over time, but need repairing every so often. Okay. Well, let's drop them here. Apparently there's plenty of crabs. I will pick those up on the way back. Oh, the music changed, too. So wait, now that we've... Oh, the book is 6% complete. Okay, that's going to take a while, then. So every time we sleep or whatnot... We can read the book. You can catch crabs anywhere. Yeah, that's what he said. But it seems like we can get different crabs with different areas that we go to. Like, we can go to the volcanic... Like, you can get crabs from the starting area of where we are now, the volcanic island, university, a few places like that. Pretty common. All right, that's depleted. Yeah, we need our um, our scoob bear. Oh, more eel. Oh, it could have been a trophy. games, bruh. How about the sustainable fisher just kind of makes it so you can fish the same place for longer, maybe? There we go. First try, brother, yeah. Trophy. Looks like we're all fished out. Let's go back. Now we got to fish up those uh, crab pots on the way home, too. 
Something shiny over there. Or maybe we should leave them out for a day? Like 24 hours? Some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. All right. He'll sell more crab pots too. I'm going to save for an engine now. A single unlucky hit is enough to knock an... Oh, 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 what? You can get an engine knocked out? A single unlucky hit is enough to knock out an engine and you wouldn't want it to be without a motor when the fog rolls in. Oh my god, imagine getting stuck out at sea in this. Hell no. Okay, two hundo. And install. Oh, that's cool. If you accidentally hit the button... If you accidentally buy something, you can get a full refund at no cost. That's nice. Thank you, ma'am. Right, let's read our book some more. Uh, night for... Oh, a light for night ship sh uh, fishing. Yeah, I think we can do that. That might work. But we are now broke. Again. We have $4.29. I don't even think we can get a, uh, a thing off the dollar menu at McDonald's for $4.29. Uh, the lights are like 100 bucks. It seems like the base price for everything in this game is like 100 bucks. It's like 120 something for the fishmonger. Uh, crab pots. Right, let's go check those crab pots. <laughs> yeah, graphic by bad, game bad. It's gotta be. It's gotta be true. Oh, maybe they blink when they're ready to be caught. Oh. Common crab. Oh, we can pick up that and the pod. Yeah, why not? Ooh, that's a big old fiddler crab. Hey, buddy. Now, what did that contract want? One common, one fiddler. Cool. Well, let's go here. Wait. Pick that up and drop it somewhere else. Let's drop these off now. So we have room for a full day of fishing. Smart to drop it off just outside the uh, base. But let's go look elsewhere. Hmm. Alright, we have an order for you. Uh, don't forget if your crab pots get worn out, the shipwright will be able to patch them up. Yeah, so it looks like we need to pay like seven bucks per crab pot. Okay, all done. Fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. These'll do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged one at the shipyard. There's something else I wanted to... Uh... No, forget it. Hmm. You'll buy these for four bucks. Hmm. All right, well, we'll keep on fishing. Let's go a little deeper. Let's do like 10 plus feet. Ooh. Hull damaged. Oh, no.
Oh, I got an eel at storage too? Okay. Oh, what the hell? A grotesque mackerel. What? Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes, like nothing you've ever seen before. Hmm. Well, when we pick it up, it makes a different noise. Listen. fish are being corrupted by something. Interesting. If you take hull damage, it also cuts off one of your little storage areas, too. That's fun. Boy, do I love that. I do love that. Fun. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking that, too. Oregon Trail. Another fish, I suppose. Oh, we finished reading sustainable fishing. Cool. Let's read rods, reels, and rigs. Hell yeah, but it better be a big rig, brother. Hell yeah. Do we need special equipment to dredge? Yeah, I think so. Looks like we need special equipment for a lot of different stuff. Okay, well, let's head back to base. Uh, that's a good question, Blue Dragon. I honestly don't know. All right, let's sell our stuff. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Mm. Ah. Now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly across the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open... From its stomach, he pulls a small f a piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, we've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Uh, a once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with a delicate crimson thread. Hmm. I'll put that in storage.
I guess we'll sell all. Cool. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it. But not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. That's us. That guy right there, that is a big O alert. Yep. That's Sus City. Hmm. Boat, boat's looking banged up. I can repair that here if you'd like. Yes, please. Ah. I wonder, can I uninstall this engine and sell it? Looks like we can only sell it if this one says sell for a hundred. This one does not, so I don't think we can sell it. If you pre-order this game, can you play it? Yeah, after you pre-order a game when it's released, you then can download it and play. That's how it works. Yep, yep. Meet at Blackstone Isle. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the, uh, anytime there's an exclamation point, it just shows that our map is upgraded or that we caught a new fr uh, fish or that we have a new pursuit. <laughs> like, our current mission is to just wait for more missions. So that might pop up from time to time. Should we go out nighttime fishing? Can I move my right rod down for more space? Uh, I think this one just has an extra... I think this one's a 2x2 two two here. And this one's a 3x1. And then there's like two engine spaces here. Or, well, four. And then there's a little light up here. But it seems like every time we buy a new ship hull, we'll get different amounts of storage. And let's take a nap. Let's go check those crab pots. And we need to go to Blackstone Island. He said cut south. Okay. Yeah. this building over here. space.
The ruined mansion of Blackstone Isle. Ooh. There's our storage. I think he wants this. Ruined mansion. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art, artifacts, treasures, and truths. And curios that will occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, the handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is thus. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours of your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Oh boy. This is sinister. But okay. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking at are looking for are a necklace a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Hmm. I'd encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Workshop. Go inside. It's locked. Hmm. All right, let's leave. Oh, good. You don't take don't take damage if you bump into something. Just if you hit it at high speed, that's good. You were wondering why I was called Dredge, and now you have a Dredge? Yep, that answers that question, huh? So, we now... Oh, the Lighthouse Keeper wants our attention again. Oh, great. What if we get better pods that are bigger and or can last longer? Lighthouse Keeper. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Hmm. There's a spot near the back of Great Morrow where the current carries wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. Can't imagine what's down there in the deep. Oh, we gotta go at night then. If you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so it shines brightly into your face. Mm -hmm. Are you really standing here in front of me, or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Who lives on Blackstone mm -hmm. Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated 
boat return, I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow f uh, flicker through those windows. Whatever you got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. I gotta go. Gotta go. Fishmonger. I have one final request for you. It's as you... As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? Uh, they go mad? <laughs> well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Oh, that's suspicious. That's suspicious, sir. Uh, let's go buy a new engine. Uh -huh. Fast is good. So maybe we can do 30 now. We'll see. Well, actually, right now we can do 39 knots. So what if we buy this new one? I gotta uninstall the old one. So we can't sell that old engine. Okay. Wait, how do I... Oh, I see. Oh, now we can do 40 knots. What? We only gained one? Oh, well. We went from 39 to 40 knots. What the scam? Maybe, maybe it's the uh, whole top speed or something. Hmm. I hope so. Actually, we could probably see. Can I exit repair mode? Ah. Oh. This one's on the house. She pulls a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. How come she didn't tell me that when I, like, checked out the store the first time? Like, when I left the store and then came back, then she gave me the book. That was good. Good thing we came back here twice. Looks like we can only buy one light, though. I may as well sell, uh, save for 180, then. Uh, let's see. Let's check with the builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns mm -hmm. to you. What's it like out there? It's peaceful. Uh, gotta be a damn sight better th uh, than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you know? Or don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again. Lost in thought. Say, if you find some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it at the steel point. When you have a, uh, anything, I'll pay you when the job's done. Ooh, another cool job. Nice. What's up, Jacob? Welcome aboard. Alright, so we're 45% done on rods, reels, and rigs, and we've got... Ooh. 
correct engine operation. Maybe that'll make our engines more efficient then. So maybe we can hit a higher top speed with the engines we have. Maybe. Lovecrafty and monster? Yeah, basically. That's good. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Rod? Pretty good pacing so far, the storyline. Just the, enough tension. Yeah, it's very good pacing. They're giving us hints of some sort of a monster out there, but they haven't really shown anything yet. That's why Jaws was so good. Like, you didn't see... In the first Jaws movie, you really didn't see Jaws at all. And when you did, it wasn't until, like, what seemed to be hours into the movie after all the tension they built up forever. Hmm... Let's, uh... Wait a minute. Okay, let's do this. I want to go to the other side of Greater Morrow to see the lights, but we're going to have to go out at night, which is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to save up some money, and we'll go over there tomorrow. But it's only 7 o'clock now, so let's at least do a little bit of fishing. See if we can bring back some cash. Luckily, we don't have expenses like uh, fuel or whatever. No, not that. I want the other one. There we go. Ooh. Chat, look, a kitty. Yeah. Ooh, a trophy kitty. Bot has been depleted. Sag. How was that? Well, let's go over here near the lighthouse. Let's go over here at nighttime near these jagged rocks in the fog. That'll be a good idea. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crashing endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure. A vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruins? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. Whoa, whoa, who? We better go slow there. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's go home because I'm not scared at all. Nope, not scared at all. Not scared. Not scared at all. Nope. Just going home because it's normal, everyday, normal day. What the hell was that? Oh, did you see that? That red light over there? Oh, that must be where it is. Uh, yep. Oh, I think it's on the map. Can I zoom in? No. Yeah, a lot of people are saying this is perfect for the Steam Deck. I would say you're completely correct. Yep. This also would be a fine game for just any console. This is just good. Fun. So far. To the fishmonger. If you're ever hunting for a specific species, check your encyclopedia. It'll have information you need. Well, thanks, sir. I'd like to sell all fish. I think we needed 180 to get that upgraded uh, thingy. Crab fishing might be a good way to uh, get money like pretty much every time. Let's sleep. Yeah, Moonglow Bay. That's the one I was thinking of, Crazy Carl. Yeah, Moonglow Bay is kind of like... Uh, it's not it's like this, but not scary and kind of voxel-based. And you also get to own your own uh, seafood restaurant, which is really cool. I think, I think that game was really well done. 
Hmm. Well, let's go out and check those crab boats. Pots. And maybe we'll go out at night. So the lights flash when they've caught something? A day remaining. We'll uh, come back at night, get them repaired. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this going to be a freaky fish? Oh. A fanged cod. So it'll have a weird purple-blue uh, glow. Fun. Oh, now we can dredge. Oh, this has the ring! This is one of the items we're looking for. X to avoid the... Oh, I see. That was horribly explained, but I got what they meant. I think the wording there could be a little better. One ring to rule them all. Onion ring. Oh yeah, now we have a little dredge that's visible on the back of our boat. What is that thing? What is that? A piece of... Oh, a bolt of cloth. We might need that for building stuff. No. Site depleted, okay. Go get our crab pots. All that noise and stuff scares me. It makes me panic. Uh, we need room for crabs, but... Money. We need money. What? What is that noise? What? Whoa. Hi. Oh no, bolt of cloth went overboard. You wait, what? Wow. <laughs> wow. Brutal. Hardcore open world. Wow. That was uh, crazy. That's interesting. I wonder... I wonder what that is. Now, previously we honked the horn and we heard that before, so maybe that attracts the fish or something. We'll have to see. Let's try that again. I want to see how that mechanic works. That sounds like it was really interesting. So at night, the scary stuff comes out. Maybe they use that to a a attract you or something. Maybe. That seemed rather cool. Let's see how this plays out at night. Yeah, look like an angler fish, exactly. You know, honestly, it's really challenging to navigate at night like that because it is very difficult to see. 
very difficult. There's the ring. Cool. Yeah, they had us blow our horn before, too. Not to toot my own horn, but... I think we're doing rather well. Having a good time. Yeah, we can install better lights. That's what we were going to do. Um, but each time that we... Miss, like, a green marker, it takes extra time on our boat. I think we're going to need a bigger boat, though, chat. What do you think? Now let's get that correct engine operation unlocked. We need a harpoon gun. I think you're right. Loud horn, make your presence known. Spyglass, get a closer look. Can identify fishing spots at a distance. Oh, so you can see what's out there before you get close to it. Interesting. Also, holding the left trigger and driving like this, you can actually, it's like a sl it's like slow motion mode. You can like perfectly drive through things. It's kind of like cheating a little bit. But how does this work? Oh, that's really cool. So you can see what's there before you go there. That's really helpful. Alright, we're going to come back for you boys. What's up, bruh? Uh, you won't buy that, will you? Let's put that in storage, and you can, and that in storage, and you can take all the rest. All right. Hello, ma'am. Wait, I want to go to you and buy. Nope. Nope. Ship right. What'll it be, brother? Yeah, I'll have your uh, cloudy lens, ma'am. Give 750 lumens. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, it's two. We can buy two, but we can only install one on this boat. Gives a range of 65 feet, 750 lumens. I thought they used candle power or something. I thought there was a measurement of candle power. Cool, now we can actually see where we're going. Oh, it's a light on the front. Oh, great. Let's go out and get those crabs now. Get those repaired. What's up, Neewa? How you doing? Needs repair. Good. Pick up. Those fiddler crabs are massive. Uh, we're going to need to make room for that guy. Actually, we're not going to have room, are we? I'll uh, have to come back for you. Alright, let's do fishmonger sales. Wow, these are 32 bucks each. Damn, crab pots are actually worth quite a bit. 
Um, there was a storage. You know, for safety. All right, sell that as well. How was that noise? I don't know how you do it every day. These old bones wouldn't cut it on the high seas. Well, that's because I'm a YouTuber, sir. And we have something called quick save. Forty-five dollars to repair, ma'am. You were running a scam. Forgot about the little squid. I want him as a pet. We will name him Fish. How much for a new hull? We gotta get one of those now. Looks like we need wood, bolts, and maybe cloth to get two rod spaces or more engine spaces okay oh we need it looks like we need one upgrade before we get the new hull and that's going to cost us 500 bucks at least oh we got to do a lot of dreadful dredging all right let me make sure we're reading that book 35 percent complete let's take a little nap to talk to. Ooh, is the weather changing? It sounds like it's storming out a little bit. Alright. Let's go throw those crab pots out. Good just to leave them right there at the entrance. Yeah, let's go exploring, Chad. We'll go look for more messages in a bottle. And that bottle is from Michelob Ultra. Brought to you by Dirty. I think what we really need now is to do some... Well, we gotta do fishing for money, we gotta do dredging for parts. But really, I'd like to upgrade so we can fish, like here, for example. Oceanic. Shallow. Eel. Hmm. Go over this way. Gray eel there. Cod, gray eel. Yeah, Moonlight Bay, yeah. Kind of reminded me of this game, too. That was a good one. Ooh, that's a tough one to get up. let you go. Simply need more space. That's right, chat. That's Manta Gear Ray. That's right. 
stolen by res a revolver ocelot from the marines. That's right. Oh, it is raining. You can see the rain on the surface of the water? It's so pretty. Wow, 55 bucks for the Stingray? Oh, baby. All right, let's go back over there. Yeah, Fish Tetris, yep. It's a fishing mini game, a Tetris mini game. It's mini a game within the game. A storm. Maybe we better stay close. Something tells me the uh, weather effects aren't just to be pretty. Complete check cabin for bonuses. A brood squid. The art for each of these is just increasingly more disgusting. You got any of those mutants with you now? I do. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Brood squid. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. The fishmonger takes the apparent fish from you, clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slim body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth, and why don't you take these too? They're of no use to me. Throw those into storage. Hmm, do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Hey, little mom, let me whisper in here. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. Is it a zergling? Hmm. He must pay more for these ugly ones. The ug oh, I heard that. Did you hear that? He'll he'll buy that for forty eight bucks. The regulars are sixteen fifty six. Wow. So the ugly sell for a lot. Four hundred and five bucks. All right, now we're close to being able to buy something good. Should we buy more crab pots or? Yeah, why the hell not? Let's do some big old crabbing. We'll go big in the crabs now. I'm gonna make Bubba Gump jealous with all my fishing. 
The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of metal bar sliding across it. Wow. He's in there doing something freaky. Oh, there's the light behind Greater Morrow. We're supposed to go out there at night. Oh, let's go. I'm sure this won't be scary at all. Not at all. We'll uh, drop these and check them all on the way back. Oh, there he is. Look. Oh, that ain't, that ain't no frickin' boat. That looks like a boat. That ain't no boat. Uh-uh, that ain't no boat. That's a surface angler fish. I don't know if I want to go out there. Mm, I guess we could leave this out here. Well, let's leave the pot, but we'll take the crab. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Oh, he's closed. He closed for some reason now. Like, he was serious about it. That wasn't just like a cool little written section. That was like, he he's out. That's sus. Okay, we have two research points. Let's see what we can research. Hydraulic rod or flexible fishing pole. Oh, we can get pots upgrades. Efficient crab pot. Uh, with improved design, this crab pot should more effectively uh, be more effective at catching creatures. Hmm. Large crab pot. Hmm. Two to three per day on that one. Capacity is a five by four. I feel like we should save for a new hull before we do that. A twin prop engine for three research points will give us a top speed of 36. Let's say for a... I think speed's going to be everything in this game because they want us to travel and or get away from creatures and stuff. So speed's going to be the woo boy. Speed's going to be the way to do that. Oh boy, I can hear it. Yep, passion for passion. <laughs> Alright, let's save our research points then. <sighs> At least the little engine upgrade for now is kind of helping us. Should we go out there? I don't know. I think we sh maybe we should go out there. Alright, let's do it. You know, these uh, crab pots are also kind of a good way to, like, lead through the rocks. Like, you could kind of lead yourself home from danger. Oh, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. No.
shapes in the deep. What the hell is this? Oh, the key! Oh, we were supposed to find this. Good. That's a massive key. Holy hell. <laughs> the key is bigger than like an outboard motor. Alright. Actually, I don't think that's the ring we were looking for before that we found. Nah, I don't want, I don't want any of those. Where's the, um... That's what I want. Nice. That might just be something we can sell to that collector guy we found. That might not be a key item. All right, let's go home. Yeah, we're going to need some big repairs. Eh, chat, it'll buff out. It's fine. Dude, I love how they made the fish like a boat. And it makes you think it's just some other boat traffic. And you know damn well there's no other boats here. That it could do like an auto docking it from further away. It's a key item, chat. That's right. T he a key item. That's right, we found a key item. I wonder oh he's still closed. That guy's still closed. Fishmonger. What's he doing? What'll it be? Uh, repairs, but I only have... <laughs> um, I only have five bucks, and I can't sell any fish. <sighs> Maybe I can't sell until I find whatever is behind this island. Well, this will be fun. Wait, maybe? Well, maybe, but I can make myself useful in the meantime and try to go fishing, put stuff in storage. Let's try to find actually decent fish. There's more stingray. We're going over there. Uh, run the key to the collector. Um, the other guy. The collector will buy the stuff, but I don't know what we call the other guy, though. What was it called? Black Sand Island or whatever? He also wants uh, a couple of other items. It was like a ring. What else did he want? A ring to rule them all, I think? Sounds like a decent guy. Let me see if I can do dredging. Dredge. I think there was a judge, Sylvester Stallone. He played a guy. Judge Dredge. Dredge Judge. Damn. Time goes by so fast in this game. You wake up and go out to the kitchen to have a cup of coffee. Boom. Midnight.
Didn't mean to pick that up. Uh, he's too big for that. He's still closed. All right, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Is that war? Is that fishmonger lumberjack samurai just like leaves in the middle of the stream or something like that, taking the day off? Hey, I know I'm the only store in the game uh, in order to sell items that you need to earn money to progress, but I'm out. I'm just taking a me day. I'll see you in two weeks. Okay, let's see. Oh, good, we got all the books complete. So what are the bonuses now? Mentioned something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Oh, are these hints for stuff? Wait, we better read this. This could be important. A hefty tome and laborious read goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce its impacts of fishing upon stock fish stocks. Straightforward, simple techniques on operating fishing equipment more effectively. Not much I didn't already know, though. Correct engine operation. Preachy and disjointed set of articles on how and how not to operate engines. In general, it was far too overcautious for my thinking. Now, was it pointless to do that, then? Uh, the woman who was willing to pay wanted um, wood and also steel, but we found cloth. So when we find some steel, then, then we also have to deliver it to, I think, where she wants to live in the future. Which makes sense, because, like, if I deliver it here, she'd have to get it to somewhere. Oh, we should charge for two parts. One for collection and one for transportation to the new spot. Oh, that's that's good business, Chad. That's, all that is is good business. All right, well, I'm certainly not going out with the boat in this shape at night. Hell no. Hail to the Nah. He's still closed. Oh, thank God. Uh, blinding headaches today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, he's back now. That was an interesting little story. Anyway, glad you're back. Hundred and seven bucks. I thought he was gone. I thought this guy was gone forever. Hey, what's up, Rudisu? Oh. Hey, ma'am. Repair. Repair. -o. All right, let's check for crabs. Ooh, a trophy crab. Potato. Well, that's like free money sitting in front of the base. Forty two bucks. Let's go this way now. And we'll kind of wait for night time. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, there's a, is there a way between there? Oh, there is.
Hey, there's a shipwreck right there. All that's left of the boat is an old husk. If you pull a little closer, look inside. Oh, free stuff. I wonder if we can go to the trader. An old iron chain. Junk to the untrained eye, but there's good metal here. Someone might pay for this. Free stuff. I wonder if that was from the couple from the uh, the boat that we saw. I think he was going to propose or something. Or no, they were already married. I don't know. Who knows? Where's the Wendy's at? We're, we're looking. Imagine crossing these open waters. Hell no. Mm. Well, we could fish here. But let's go looking for dredge. What the hell is that? A slab of rock juts out from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Oh, that's where that light is coming from at night, the red light over here. That's what that lady was talking about, I think. So we need like a corrupted cot. We just need to fill all these spaces, I think. So now we should probably start. Oh, this is cool. So we can either keep the corrupted fish to sell them for more money or we can get whatever's here in the rock slab. That's what's driving that guy crazy. Yeah, we gotta Tetris them in, so we gotta find fish that'll fit and fill all those spaces. Alright. Well, that's... freaky. Time to start saving the freaks. Now that's all I can fit for now, I think. Unless... We could Tetris two more in. Now we want to start saving the freaks. That's cool. We found some weird shrine. Wow, and the crab pots are all ready to go again. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, crab fishing. That's big money. Like the big money you can save at Menards. Save big money. I look like he was closed again. What's up, bruh? Put stuff in storage. Put crafting items down here. Can I just get rid of that? Up maybe I should say that boat upgrade. There might be. Maybe there's some sort of way to salvage and like dismantle stuff. Maybe I don't know. So this is a key item, T These are tradables, so let's put tradables here. Oh, we have three research parts now too, so we can save for that upgraded engine. I'll probably be throwing this out, but it doesn't look like I can get rid of it. So there must be a reason to keep it. 
Let's see if we can do research. That's a 36. What is that? Jet drive engine. Relatively new design. This unit propels water through the system more efficiently than the outboard motor propeller setups. Speed 9.5. the hell? Why is it so expensive but slower? Maybe because it only takes up a one by one so we could install four of them? <coughs> I also want to get better crab pots, but our problem with that is that we need uh, a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat, chat. Does the boat get bigger after upgrading? Yeah, we can upgrade the hull. In order to do that, we're going to need um, more stuff from dredging. So if we're going to find more stuff, we should probably go faster so we can go further. That, that looks like a serious engine right there. Uh, I want to go faster. Give me that. She'll sell us the big O for four fifty. So we could sell these two for a hundo. But if we save them, there might if we get a bigger hole, perhaps there'll be you know more engine slots so we can get the big one and then install the two and then we'll have like three propellers. Something like that. So let's go well we got we probably got the money. We got a million dollars worth of crabs sitting off the coast. And we probably have to get these repaired too. Eh, tomorrow. Oh, that's true. Our in if we go with that engine, we'll only have one engine. So if it becomes damaged, we're dead in the water. But I don't intend to die. Game's very easy, you just don't have to die. Can you go underwater? Yeah, if you ram your uh, boat into the rocks enough, that'll happen. Sold for 63? Ah, oh, that's fine. Guarantees that you'll make profit every day. Hmm. I kind of don't want to sell these yet, so let's just... Eh, let's keep fishing. We'll go out at night. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Oh, there's something there. Oh, we need an ugly one. We gotta keep an ugly. A snag squid. Tasting tongues wither wildly around the sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Wow. That's fun. We'll put that in the shrine.
freaking intense over here. Time to go home. Getting intense. Yeah, we're going to save uh, some for the shrine. Are there better fishes at night? I'd say so. Something slithers into your cargo hold. Slithers into my cargo hold? Condition infected. Rises from the depth at night to feed or to f be fed upon. Oh, can this stuff... Oh, it looks like our regular cargo can be in infected somehow. What the hell? So at night, if we're hauling fish, it could be infected? Tell me all about this one, sir. Oh, he won't buy it for as much. He's got to, like, cut out the infection. Okay, so it'll lower our sale value. That's fun. All right, let's put these in storage for later. The infected one just doesn't seem to get as much money. That's fun. Well, let's take a little nap. We'll do it again tomorrow. This is intense. A day remaining. Needs repair. Hey, what's up, Demi? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. for that one. Alright, let's sell. Those crab pods pay for themselves within like two days. Pretty good. Get repairs. Hmm. And then we have to repair them too, so I guess it kind of evens out a little bit. if we can use these crab pots as kind of like a like a cheat I have an idea I wonder if I can lay them in a lot you know like breadcrumbs like Hansel and Gretel or something jelly beans
So now everything's repaired. So we have what, three? Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Okay. Back to base. What do I want to head to next on the map? Well, I want to get an upgraded engine and then go further away. I think it's a little too dangerous to go to some of these other places until we can get back in time. So first we're going to upgrade so we can go further and faster. Ooh, nice trophy. Oh, we need a corrupt... One of these bad boys corrupted. Yeah, other places seem to have other docks, yep. Yeah, Tetris and fishing <laughs> minigames put together, yep. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, okay, let's sell. 529, all right. So what do we need for that upgrade? Well, we could get this 450 upgrade. Let's do that. Or can we do upgrades? Plus two engine spaces. Mm -hmm. So we'll need to find bolts for that. Four net spaces. Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. I need to be able to bind nets though. And she... Doesn't have any for sale. So I think I have to unlock trawling nets then. Oh, but well we can't yet. All right, so nets are out of the question for now. All right, so B button, let's go back. Yeah, the demo for this was a hell of a lot of fun. You have the blue eye? Hey, congratulations, Wolf. Congrats. Yeah, I'm playing with the Xbox controller. You can play with a keyboard. I, I think it's like 50-50. Like I, I, I think I played my first time on keyboard mouse and thinking, like, oh, this is good. But uh, I'm doing it on the controller. And I like the driving better on the controller, but the fishing minigame, for me, might be better on the keyboard and mouse. 
but it's all good. Maybe we could go sell these items here. To the guy across the lake. Hmm. Let's see. Let's ask everybody about occurrences and shipwrecks. Let's go find let's go find more stuff now. Shipwrecks, unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even struggles to cut through some of the fo uh, the fog at some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make a nice uh, should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There are some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. Uh, yeah. Strange occurrences. I heard that my counterpart uh, part. In Little Marrow, met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, and next he was packing, uh, pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mare is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it, a most unpleasant subject. Now, what can I do for you? Yeah. What about the builder? What do you know about the area? Uh, it was once a bright and thriving little town, if you can believe it. There was plenty of work for me and my crew. New houses and shops every other month. We made a fair bit of money out of it, too. But, I don't know. I guess the bubble burst or something. I don't know how these things work. People started leaving. My crew left. I stayed. Anything else? No. Not at the moment. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go find something to dredge. Other than wood. Oh, oh, that's fish. Let's see if anything spooky comes out at night. Any infected fish we can use. Oh, something's out there. Alright, let's do the trader again. Sup, bruh? An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Weird. doesn't buy stuff for a lot of money. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? 
Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere. In one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? Any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mare in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I was almost feel like I understand. Anything else I could help you with? I don't know. Okay, so we need to find a bronze belt buckle from some location. Somewhere out there. The Volta... The Voltac Grouper. Weird, dude. Unknown green energy arcs and crackles over the fish scales. It thrashes ceaselessly, even hours after being pulled from the water. like landing lights bringing us home. Wait a minute. I think the game throws rocks out at us randomly. There's Oh, you can't remember the route. The game literally puts rocks in your path. I would have never put... When we put down those crab pots like that, that rock wasn't there. The game changes the landscape based on... It being nighttime. And or the fact that we're like freaking out with the eyeball up, up top has something to do with that. Interesting. Clever, clever. Very clever. Oh, we got an achievement called Careless Harvesting. I wonder if there's actually something to overfishing in this game. Hmm. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Okay, we should probably sleep then. Oh yeah, you can see the background getting all blurry and stuff too. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah, that groovy fish we'll use to uh, try to unlock that thing when we get more of them. Now let's take a little nap. Yeah, the rock's not there anymore. So when we're tired or when it's nighttime, the game might change the landscape. So good good to pay attention to that.
Okay, that works. Lumpy mackerel. Throw back the regular one. I'm going to try to go put these into that thing now. Let's go now. we got a few of them. final state of all living things. Oh. Fish can rot in the storage, too. Interesting. I'm going to keep it because maybe it could be used for something later. That's interesting. Right, let's leave. Whew. Are there tides in this game? I haven't seen that be a factor yet. Maybe some of the other islands are affected by other conditions somehow. Oh, you can actually bump into the buoys. Out the way, pal. Maybe this will... Maybe these won't go bad. So what might be good here is two two by twos, two one by twos, and one of those cods that's like a an L shape. You can return to these items later. Hopefully this like will keep them there safely without going bad. Depleted. Okay, maybe we should be a little more careful about are harvesting. We got a steam achievement for like over harvesting. And the book also kind of warned of it, but it's not clear what it might do. Metal scraps. All right, we need that for that lady's house. That means we can go to a new island. We'll find out where that island is and bring the wood and the metal there. All right. That'll be our next goal then. Wherever that lady wants us to go. fit anything else. Only small crabs. Beep beep. Home before dark. Alright, fishmonger. That's for you. Now, what does she want us to do? Bring two units of lumber, two units of scrap to Steel Point, which is just to the north. I want to build a place for myself there. Okay. Hmm. 
Can you have any weapons for aggressive fishes? I don't know. I have not seen that yet. Probably like some rice and soy sauce. That that probably teach him. Or no, beer batter. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she, she wants us to go up there where the red X is in the north. That's a long way up there, ma'am. We'll have to leave, like, first thing in the morning for that. I'll throw that in the storage for now. Is there a way to protect the boat? Uh, shaking your booty. Swift, being swift. The little crabs come out at night. present how to do that. Sure. I'm shaking my bow to E. That's called the aft. As in like after. Ooh. A spooky scary skeleton. alone. Alright, we, sh we shouldn't we shouldn't harvest everything to completion. I'm going to try to not do that now. I want to leave some fish behind if we can. Maybe there's multiple endings where it's like, dude, you ate one more fish than you should have your bad first. Starting to hear the whispers louder each time. What's up, Ray? Alright, hopefully this will store for a day, maybe. And yeah, we could swing by and drop it off on our way over to the north, I suppose. Okay, that should be enough for tomorrow's fun. Good night, yeah. Um, yeah. one by one and then we gotta f we gotta find like a cod I think that's gonna be the only thing to fit there okay where's this other 
island there. Okay. I'll come back. Let's go. That's my boat's dupa. The aft, the dupa. Material pile. This is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. Hmm. Okay. Oh, dude, it doesn't fit right. Do they need to patch this? This is going to need a day one patch. Dude, it doesn't fit. All right, we're going to have to come back later then. That's a shame. That looks that looks like it's broken. That's going to need a day one fix yet. Says you hi. Damn it. Oh, wait, we're on this. This must be a puzzle. All right, hold on, chat. Okay, nope, that's not it. Okay, let's try this. They should. If there's a puzzle, I wish they would, like, show you what you should put in there so you can, like, figure it out. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. We got it. Dude. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to put this plank upside down. Okay, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure it doesn't match the silhouette here. And then... If we move this around off the boat and move it up and down eight times, something like that, then if we move it over here and then touch our nose, frickin' first try, got it, dude, puzzle defeated. You've delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Well, what collar? <laughs> First try! If it doesn't fish, fit push harder, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And all the millennials have now left the channel. Good. That was a crazy puzzle, I know. Okay, so now we can talk to this lady. We can sleep here. We can do whatever we want. But let's uh, look around for fish. Ooh, that's cloth. More metal. Planks. Now let's do let's do some dredging. Dredge.
When we let the builder know, we're gonna have to like see. Ooh, this place is pretty. We're gonna have to see what new bonuses she'll give us. Also on the lookout for that uh, belt buckle. Oh, research parts, sweet. Oh damn, uh, we might not have room for anything else. Once we let her know, we might be able to build a storage here. Let's take a little sleep. Let her know and drop off our stuff. Napping initiated. Let's see if we can find some, like, spooky fish. Do we have missiles? We do not. There's a spooky fish right there. Oh, it's a... Uh, I think these are, what, three long? I think that's too long. builder you've done it well no sense in wasting time let's get moving oh i gotta pick you up too ma'am no room on deck come back when you have spare space i'll be waiting wow that's actually cool that we have to do that now we're a, a transport vessel all right ma'am you can come on board I wonder if it'll take her a few days to build. We'll have to come back later, probably. Maybe it won't be immediate. Good riddance to you, Great Morrow. I'm on onward bound. Hi, right, ma'am. There's a $29.95 processing fee, onboarding fee, safety fee, inspection fee, life raft fee, lifeboat fee, safety inspection fee, fee fee. game does look like fun. I agree. It is a fun game. Whew, we're going to have a lot to sell when we get home. Yeah, Ticketmaster owns the ocean now. Like, oh, dude, we love to lower our fees, but we can't because we're greedy. We could, but we just can't. Convenience fees, yep, inconvenience fees. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Alright, we'll check back with you later. Is that dredging over there? Hmm. 
Let's go dredge. In the meantime... Time to be annoying. This could be the uh, belt buckle. Nope, it is pearl earrings. Hmm. Might be important to keep those, maybe? I... Not too sure. Is there a beach metal detector out there? Well, there are some metal detecting games that are pretty fun. Co-op. Competitive. Hmm. So we could take this on board, I guess. That'll be fine. Actually, speaking of uh, beach metal detectors, we should probably stay near the beach as often as we can for finding more wrecks. Particularly T-Rex. Or chat's favorite, T-He-Rex. Rex marks the spot. Okay, that light's off. Ah, oh, it's because it's broken. Okay. Ooh, trophy one. Uh, we'll have to come back for that. A little too full. What's up, bruh? Haven't seen that strange red light in a while. wonder what it was. Rosie O'Donnell. Wow, we got a thousand bucks now. Sweet. Okay, let's put that in storage. those in storage. Oh, metal scraps look like a bolt. Okay. Oh, they don't stack. Okay. Let's see what we can get from this lady. Plus one light space. We could get plus two engine spaces to get a backup. Or we could get the old other engine in there just as a backup. Oh, it has to be in our... Wait, what? Oh, that must be where the jets go. Because they're only a one by one. Tee hee. So that's what the jets are for, then. But in order to get the bigger hull, we have to get some sort of upgrade. But 
this has rod space. This could allow us for... Oh, wow, we could get, like, two more rod grays. Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. Okay, so rod gray can be cloned three times, and then he can also become <laughs> rod net, which means he's going to be cloned five times and apparently change his last name. Rod, if you're in the chat, that's an upgrade for you. Uh, one wood and two cloth. Yeah, the I think there is a demo for this game. It is free on Steam, the, the demo. But this will be out tomorrow. Oh no, another puzzle. Uh-oh, chat. It's another puzzle, boss. Come on. Got to mix this up a little bit. Wait a minute. At the end of this sound effect, you can hear somebody clicking a mouse as if they were recording it. And then they clicked to stop the recording, and their mouse was too close to the mic when they recorded it. Listen to this. When I pick it up, when it, when it turns green, listen, you can hear the mouse click at the end. Do you hear that? Listen again. Oh my god, dude. Someone should be fly fired for that blunder. Oh my god, now I can't unhear it. Oh. You don't hear it? Hold on. Okay, now we have to go into super ADD mode. Yeah, but the, the sound effects are tied to the water, but just listen closely. We're going into a tactical analysis. Listen to this. Do you not hear that? I can't unhear it now. Oh uh, yeah, that does bring this to unplayable on, on status, unfortunately. Even though it's a lot of fun and I'm enjoying it greatly and we'll probably play a lot more of this, this is unplayable. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's get the upgrades done. Okay. Ah, crap. I don't know how I'm going to beat this boss, dude. Okay, I hopefully I can first try this. Maybe brute force it? I don't know if we have the key or whatnot. Oh, well, we did it. 125 bucks. Oh, wait, what? Research complete for the basic trawl net. Okay, so now we can now we can do some trawling. So long as she offers that. Does she offer that now? Oh. Oh, now we can buy a trawling net. Simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those who want to explore the oceans. 250 bucks. Wow. And a lot of space, too. I think we need a hull upgrade before we start doing this stuff, because the idea of that is that we can keep mobile. Oh, this is going to take stuff we don't have. So that's going to take four wood, two metal, three cloth, and then something we haven't found yet. It looks like a, one, a club sandwich with like a toothpick through it with like an olive. We need one sandwich. She runs a hard bargain, but even I get hungry. Wait. 
get the propulsion upgrade going. Oh, I could just go to storage this way. I was being silly. Now let's see if we can buy it. Crimson, uh oh, that crimson glow in the sky seems to have gone away. The air feels quieter now, more settled. Have you noticed? Yeah, I have. I guess I could go deploy some a crab pod, I guess. I guess. That one's broken. We can fit the other engine. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, all right, so we bought two basic engines, so I don't know if buying, like, a this other engine would be good. Oh, here, here's what we need right here. Where's the farming in this game? I guess you can kind of farm animals. Ooh, another freakazoid. I guess we have to wait till daytime to collect these. Because we're not going to be able to see them all. Oh boy. Oh, the wrong. Oh no, they're wrong. The red fog is back. Okay, ma'am. Please repair these. Putting fake rocks out in front of me again. How dare you, game. Don't do the light thing. That freaks me out, bruh. Okay, we gotta find that guy's uh, son's belt buckle now. We gotta keep dredging. Let's go, brother. Yeah, the red fog is back, yep. I'll pick that up on the way back. Would I recommend this game based on the gameplay so far? Yeah, I, I would have already recommended it based on the demo. I thought the demo was so damn cool and was so fun that when I made a video about this game, like, within the last year, I was like, hey, everybody download this game. Like, it's hard to say no to a free demo. And the demo was really fun, and I could see the potential. It was very promising of, like, a cool open world, like, 
there's certainly some progression to it and some things you should do. On the other hand, there's pretty much, you know, you don't have to, you do things in any order. Search for relics. Find the... Oh! The buckle is near Little Morrow. So now we got to find another cod. Yeah, the demo is solid. Now, I haven't found any uh, mutant crabs yet. I don't think I've found any... Weirdo crabs yet. Right, let's go around this island and do some dredging. But yeah, if the if the, if the demo is still on Steam, I'd recommend you just play the demo first. And if you're if you're loving it, get it. If you're liking it, add it to your wish list and get it on a sale. If you don't like it, uh, you've wasted nothing but maybe a little bit of your time. And honestly. You know, if you try something out and it's not for you, at least you kind of refined your taste a bit for what you might like in the, in the future on Steam. If you absolutely love this and get it, uh, on Steam, there's Steam has a pretty good algorithm. Oh, I see a, a shipwreck or something. Steam has a pretty good alg algorithm to where it'll recommend other games that are similar. Damn, this one's fast. Holy hell. A bronze belt buckle. We're going to sell that. No need to keep that at all for any reason. Oh, the final final Elden Ring last final secret boss right there. Ooh, more research parts. Excellent. So it seems like we can find those via good deeds or by uh, just dredging. We have to go back and check that lady's house in the next couple of days. See if she built a sweet house. Yeah, we're definitely selling the belt buckle. There's no value for that whatsoever. If there was, we would be we would have been given a quest earlier regarding it. Some guy would have been like, oh dude, my son he hasn't come back. Could you find his belt buckle? Luckily we haven't encountered that at all. Might have a freaky boy. I'm not going to be able to get him on board, though. Those are a little too big. Is everything okay? About that belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man? Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. Th this is this is his! Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I'm not any money to pay you, but this is to hold some value to you. Good, more research parts. Anything else I can help you with? No. Hi there. You can take this chain for zero dollars and zero negative cents. <sighs> Hopefully we can like build more storage and stuff across the map. That'd be kind of cool. Damn, I wish there was a way to organize stuff better. Let's go find some cod. Let's find some Call of Duty. Any freaky Call of Duty out here?
Well, I could go sell this big one for more money. A bling ray. The shard ray. Mm. Well, I didn't want to deplete it, but I kind of had to to get this thing. The stone skin of this ray is molded around a black crystal shard. The rock fragments articulate and grind together. Weird. Hey, what's up, Panda? Welcome back. Man, I hate depleting. I don't want to deplete the land anymore. Yeah, we gotta go back if it's not red. We'll have to get the better crab pods so we can um, not have to bring them back so often. Yeah, the special variant ones are pretty cool. They buy it for almost double. Oh, we only need two more for the research. Hundo. Ma'am, you only have one of those? Uh, maybe I can come back. There'll be more tomorrow. Twin prop engine only has one prop. I didn't install it. So she won't give me a full refund. That's okay. We'll try this upgrade. Fifty six point seven. I don't What the hell? You pay a lot of money for a um Like, we paid quite a bit of money, but it's not that much of an upgrade. But I guess, you know, like, one knot over the course of several hundred kilometers could be quite a, you know, that's pretty significant, though, in the end. Actually, we feel a lot faster. There's lots of upgrades to grind out here. It seems like the crabs, like, you can't ever go bad with the crabs. Like, you can't deplete them, so maybe that's the best thing to invest in first. 
Yeah, the speed upgrade's pretty noticeable. Yeah, it's a twin twin engine single prop, I guess. Well, I think it said didn't it say double dual, dual prop? I don't know. Twin prop engine. Yeah, single single prop, single engine. She lied, dude. Marketing. Oh yeah, our crab pods don't need bait. They just work magically. Alright, let's go dredging. What do we have on board? Nothing good. I'll bring back the pods later. I want those cod. Hope we can find a freaky one. Today will be a good money day. Oof, look at all those crab pods, baby. Crab pods. 104 bucks, yeah, that's pretty good. Good money. So we could put this over here. Wait. Oh, this is going to be a problem because if I... The net is a 2x2. Two two. Does the... What kind of fishing does the net allow us to do? Coastal. Okay. I feel like that... It says passively catch basic fish when deployed. So that's just... We could deploy it. Maybe we have to travel slower, but it's free fish. Could be a good deal. Let's give it a try. This game reminds you of the flame and the flood. Damn. There's so many cool games that are like uh, that kind of remind me of Darkest Dungeon that have nothing to do with Dark and Dungeon Darkest Dungeon, but they give me a vibe of that. That I haven't played that would be amazing. And I think I'd really like them. Alright, let's put this in storage. Okay, and then we need to talk to ma'am. Rosie, the Riveter. Let's give this a try. Ability unlocked. Troll, trolling, like I was doing to chat earlier. Passively, <laughs> passively anger people who aren't really paying attention, who think you don't know what you're doing, which is true. But also, you manage. You made it 35 years without dying to death so far. Let's try another 35. Yeah, one's in the chat. Ah, damn, she doesn't have another jet for us. Eh, maybe there'll be another one later. You'd love the game if you haven't played it yet? Yeah, I haven't, so I would, I would, I probably would like it. You're probably right. Let's go trawling. Let's do some trolling. Select the troll net 
and lower it. Nets catch thing as you move, but need repairing every so often. Oh, it's, it's just free real estate. Oh, cool. And then we probably have a choice to, like, release it if we want to. Ooh, one new fish. Wait, how do I, like... Oh, I probably have to reel it in? Oh, oh, it's got its own storage. Oh my god, that is huge. Bro, the frickin' trawler net has such a massive capacity for stuff. It only lasts a day, so you should probably repair it every day. But damn, that is a monstrosity of storage. Holy hell. Bro, we could just throw, throw stuff in there. Throw the boat motor in there and everything else. Oh my god. Giga Chad storage. That is huge. That, that is a massive dub. Dude, this map is cool. I love this. Oh, something scary. Now let's take a little nap. Oh, wait. We can also f sell from the net. Bro, that is so damn cool. I love it. Is this a McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. This game is damn cool. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe. Because uh, we're probably going to end up doing a full playthrough of this. I mean, I was kind of already planning on it anyway, but if you're liking this, smash like. If you're loving this, smash love, question mark. But anyway, let me know. And put a one in the chat if you're a sub. One in the chat if you're enjoying the game. One in the chat if you're watching live. One in the chat if you haven't put a one in the chat. And also, a one in the chat if you uh, would like to possibly win like a gifted membership or something like that. Or possibly a free giveaway on the Discord. One in the chat if you join the Discord. With the link down below in the description there. A one in the chat if your favorite number is two. We had to do some dredging. Uh, it's going to be something bad if we overfish. We got to be careful. Oh, more cloth. Depleted. Planks there. Jewelry. Oh, God. That's all the way over there, though. Oh, no. I need to find a freaky weirdo cod. I need a freaky weirdo. Ding, ding. No freaky weirdos. Oh. Oh, that's cool. If it says depleted, you can just release it. And will that... Oh. What? Wait a minute. You should be able to just release... If it becomes, like, depleted, you should be able to release a fish or two. 
I really need that weirdo cod though to be able to continue the that little weird shrine. Also, I wonder if the wind has anything to do with anything. Uh oh. Let's just head home. Have I explored most of the map? Um, not really. We've gone quite a few places and found a lot of stuff and explored a lot of the story, but... we got a long way to go in this one. Oh, another cod. Nice. Uh, let's just sell everything. Another 500 on the Dallas. Interesting. This game is good. I like this one. That is for sure. All right. We're going to continue on with another new game today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go live to Crime Boss, which is a new game that just came out today as well. Apparently, it's something like Mafia slash um, GTA slash maybe... Um, what would you call it? Like uh, that one? Oh, Saints Row. K kind of like that. We'll see. It's got all the famous. It's got Chuck Norris in it. So do it, or otherwise Chuck Norris is gonna pop out of your garbage can and scold you for not properly putting the bag tied to the bin. Let's go. We're gonna continue our streams right now. So we're gonna live redirect to a new stream starting now. We're gonna continue with Dredge tomorrow when it releases as well. So if you like this, we're gonna continue. So make sure you subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Do it right now. So you don't miss out on more. And let's go live to another stream and a giveaway shortly on the Discord. Sometime later today. Spam like, let's go. New stream starting right now.